Hi, thanks for buying our Mini Maker Toolkit. This video is gonna talk you through each of the tools and a little bit of safety so you know how to use it properly. Okay, so let's get started. First up is the stubby hammer. First thing you should know about hammers is how to hold them. And you hold them like you're shaking hands with somebody, like this. Now, we don't wanna see your finger on the back of the hammer like this, because if the hammer hits something and bounces up, you can hurt your finger, okay? So you hold it like you're shaking hands with somebody. Next, you should make sure that you're holding it at the bottom of the handle, not near the top like this. This is called strangling the hammer. And it's quite dangerous, because if you miss the nail, guess where the nail goes? right onto your finger, okay? So whenever you pick up a hammer, always hold it at the bottom like this. Now, not only is that safer, but it gives you much more whack. You'll be able to hit things a lot harder, which is what you want when you're hitting a nail in. The next thing to know about using a hammer is what angle you kind of hit things at. Now, we want to put a dowel in when we're making Mini Maker kits, and if our hammer is tipped over at this angle and I hit the dowel, can you see what happens? The dowel tips over to one side. So it's really important that your hammer is like this, okay? You should have what we call a right angle here, okay? Like a square bit here um, so to make sure the angle's correct. Now, make sure you're doing that when you're hitting the dowel in. I'll show you that with a dowel and a nail right now. When we're using a hammer, um, first of all, we want to hold the item down at the bottom and we do gentle strokes, just little taps to get the thing started. We don't want to do too hard just in case we miss. Once we've got started like this, we need to make sure that this hammer stays flat like this. If we tip it over and we hit the dowel, it's gonna fall over like this. So we want to make sure this hammer is nice and flat here, okay? And then we go gentle strokes, up in the air, wrist bent, and back down, like so. That's it, job done. Now let's do the same with a nail. So we want to hit this nail head over and over in the center of the hammer. Try your best not to miss it, but it happens a lot, so. And we keep going all the way down to the bottom. I'm not gonna show you that because I'll go into my bench. One last thing about the hammer is the claw section here. And this is for removing nails. How we do this is we put the claw around the nail like this, and then we pull this way, and that will pull the nails out. Next up, we've got the humble screwdriver. Not as easy as it looks to use one of these, so I'm just gonna show you the proper way to do it. We've got our little screw here, and we want to attach a leg to our character. Now, first thing, it's very important that the screwdriver is in line with the screw. If it's tipped over like this, it's not gonna catch very well, it's gonna jump up and down, and also the chances of it slipping is gonna be much higher. So try and make sure that your screwdriver matches the angle of the screw like this. Which way do we turn the screwdriver? Now, it's hard to show you this on camera, but the way a clock goes clockwise is to the right, as you look at the top of the screwdriver, okay? To the right, like this, to the right. Okay, and we say for that righty-tighty. To undo a screw, we turn it to the left, which is lefty-loosey, or the opposite way that a clock goes anti-clockwise, okay? So righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So this is how we use the screwdriver. I'm gonna get the screw through our leg here, and I'm gonna put that into the body part of our character and I'm turning it to the right just a little bit to get it started. Okay, then I put the screwdriver on the top and I turn the screwdriver to the right, like so. And I keep turning it to the right, over and over and over, keeping it nice and straight, like so. And then I keep going, keep going. When I get towards the end, I need to push down a little bit harder, but not too hard, because if it slips, I stand the chance of bashing into my uh, finger like this. Turn it till it's tight, and that's it, it's done. If you want to undo the screw, it's the same in reverse. We push down, turn to the left, like so. And that's how we use a screwdriver. A quick safety point, we want to avoid doing this. If we're using a screwdriver like this, we can slip off and accidentally go into the palm of our hand, which really, really hurts. So always put it on something hard and screw down onto that. Next up then is the glue gun. This is probably the most dangerous of all of the items we've used so far. You've got to be really careful with these because once they get up to temperature, this silver bit on the end here is as hot as the inside of an oven. And if you touch it, you really will burn yourself. So you have to be very, very careful. Now, 
um, when we're using glue guns, we've got some techniques we can use to avoid burning ourselves. But first thing is, how do I load it, okay? So we, these come with uh, the 11 millimeter wide glue sticks. So first of all, we need to put that in the back like so, and we push it until it goes in like this. Once we've done that, we plug the glue gun in, and then we'll need to wait around about four to five minutes for it to properly warm up. It's really important that it warms up properly because if you start pulling the trigger and the glue comes out of the end before it warms up, then it will set hard almost instantly and you won't get a chance to glue things on. So make sure you leave it the full amount of time to warm up. The great thing about glue guns is they're very easy to use. You just pull the trigger here and the glue comes out of the end. So I'll show you that now. So this is our glue gun. The first thing you can see is the glue can leak out of the end like this. So make sure you're working on a piece of paper or something like that so you can clean up afterwards easily. Now I want to glue these two blocks together. What I'm going to do is put a blob of glue like this. And with this kind of glue, more is more, okay? It works better if you use more of the glue. Then I'm going to attach one to the other, push down hard like so, and let it set. Now you'll see you've got these stringy bits, okay? Now it's okay, you can just pull those off afterwards like this, and you've got something perfectly well stuck together. So next, I want to glue this tiny little button here onto this. So what we do not do is put the glue like this because we'll burn our fingers. We put the glue onto the bigger item, whatever that may be, a little blob, and then we put the uh, button on top of that glue like that. Now, if you don't want to use your finger to push it down, you can use something else like your screwdriver. One final thing to note about the glue guns is they should always be stood upright like this and not on their side. These glue guns have a little stand like this that you can use to keep it on like that. Always make sure you use the stand. Also, when people burn themselves on glue guns, it's because they're normally reaching over them or they've left them on their side and they accidentally touch the back of their hands on them. So take special care. Whenever you put it down, you put it away from you at arm's length. And that way you'll avoid getting any glue gun burns at all. Next up, we've got sandpaper, and this is for smoothing all the edges of your wood. Now you've got three different types of sandpaper in here. You've got rough, medium, and very fine. Now all you need to do is tear a piece off or fold it and start rubbing your blocks. If you want to, you can wrap it around another piece of wood to create a sanding block as well, something like this. Sandpaper is very, very easy to use and all you do is start rough, then go to medium, then go to fine. And you can do it as much or as little as you like. So I hope you have great fun building with your new tools and don't forget to send us photos of your makes. We absolutely love to see what you guys have made. Thanks for watching, bye.